Oin Klein Eisensaisa. This is AppleRaps.com, and we have Sid Meier's Ace Patrol, which is a new strategy game, turn-based, aerial, World War I, and we'll dive into a mission right off the top. Picking our pilots for our mission, and let's go out. Now this is Aerial Combat 3D, and it comes from Sid Meier, who's one of the most well-known names in his strategy games, as he makes uh, Revolutions and quite a few others. And Ace Patrol, it's made for the ground up from iOS. It's iOS exclusive, all touch-based, rather than just a port. And this follows up Haunted Hollows, which is it comes from uh, Sid Meier Studios Fire Access, which is the same kind of idea of making it for iOS, making it casual friendly, but still offering quite a surprising amount of depth. So on each given turn, you are propelling your planes forward, and there's arrows to tap on. You tap once to see an example of how the plane will go. As you can see, there's a bank to the right. Right now, we're just uh, use tap again to actually perform that action. And right now, we're just trying to go up into these enemy gym and planes. And once it lights up green, that means we can actually be in attack position. So let's perform that action. Once you get into attack position, it's going to give you a special animation for that. We're just starting out in the initial phase of the game. This, is, I believe, is mission five, or something along those lines. But there are already the strategic elements at work. So, I mean, each turn you have nine different moves to make, and as you go, you unlock new abilities, which lets you roll, pitch, climb, uh, descend, all those type of actions. Let's get up close and personal with that guy. There's a game kind of along these lines on iOS already. It's known as Steambirds. Though that's quite simplistic and it has a very minimal strategic elements as well as just controls that aren't really suited. As, they're just not that smooth. This game, I mean, these controls aren't necessarily touch specific, like you're not dragging the path, but it, it really is easy to use to let you focus on the strategy of the game. Now let's chase down these guys. This is a whole new way to dogfight. So we got a wingman. My elevator is damaged. And so our wingman. Let's get him to twist around to take on this other guy. And our main plane will go after this guy. Running away. Running away because the clouds, it lets you hide in those clouds, and these red zones are where they have some ground units to anti aircraft missiles and such. This guy's trying to hide in the clouds. This is like Wrath of Khan in that mist that you get into. <laughs> These guys should take a lot of damage without going down. This guy's coming out the clouds, so let's go right after him. He's going down. Boom. One down. Now we're gonna have to flip around. So there's also different levels of altitude because this is a 3D game. So that means right now we're level three, and right now 
you this ship is only at level two so that means you can descend or elevate based on different maneuvers and you want to have the highest ground possible this guy he's about to become flaming wreckage let's go after him got him again so that completes this given mission 100% damage let's take that one down. Here we go, we're taking through some Jim and Zeppelin edge. Tell me that completes the mission. Okay, we did. You have the option to view the replay, which takes out all of it to give you just like a little animated clip. And now after each Thank you, sir. mission, you have new details for your ace pilot, because that's the ultimate goal. And then you can unlock new maneuvers. So let's get these roll maneuvers. Give us a little bit new abilities. And then you can also upgrade individual planes as you go. So let's upgrade our main guy. Excellent. Ooh. But, so that's, uh, let's go into a new mission, I guess. So you're battling to try to take uh, control of the given map. So. Red missions are offensive, blue missions are defenses. We've completed two red missions so far. And if we complete this one, we'll be able to round out and advance our troops forward. So it also comes Excellent. down to signing Excellent. pilots. Oh, we get to Excellent. go all four yep. pilots in this one. Oh, new enemy plane. So, with that in mind, let's go into action. Everybody's taking down the Zeppelin. So they got three enemy crafts. And we got four guys on our team. Okay. Oh, well, with that in mind. Let's go to battle. So now we have a new enemy type. And we're just going to go after this guy. And then there's two over here, so let's loop around. These are the initial levels, so we're at advantage of having four crafts compared to their three. And <laughs> with that in mind, let's hope that we actually do take them down. Let's see. 49% damage, we'll take that option. It might be a bit too easy that it gives you straight up that choice of how much damage you're going to cause. My engine's on fire! My elevator is damaged! Look at all these different... I mean, right there, look at the layers of ships. This 3D design is really superb. You can see that it layered up. I mean, from that angle, you got to see about four ships on screen at once. My head is damaged! I'm going down! So now we've taken two down, and we still got to go after the Zeppelin. Let's zoom out. So the Zeppelin's back over this way. But we're going to take down this guy. I'm going to! off this Zeppelin. Even though that's a bit off that we flew under the Zeppelin and came crashing down upon us, but we'll uh, check that uh, realism out the door. So we got one offensive Thank you, sir. complete. We can again upgrade our Stalin. So now let's jump back out into the main menu. So there's the single player and then there's also multiplayer. And this is going to have either local multiplayer or networked option. It's the same idea of the gameplay that we've shown you so far. 
where there's going to be arrows on screen and you tap strategy. There's quite a bit of strategy at work as you're on different levels in the sky, nine or so different actions at once, and you have different objectives in the single player campaign as you saw. It's a long, quite deluxe campaign, and that's Sid Meier's Ace Patrol. We hope you enjoyed our in-action video, and this is AppleNaps.com, hoping to talk to you next time.